Are you currently navigating the challenging cycle of living paycheck to paycheck, all while yearning for that elusive financial freedom? If so, you're not alone, and the good news is that there's a viable solution within reach. Let's delve into the intricacies of the 50-30-20 budgeting plan, a powerful and effective tool designed to pave the way toward the financial independence you've always envisioned. This rule, conceptualized by the renowned U.S. Senator and personal finance expert Elizabeth Warren, has gained global recognition for its simplicity and effectiveness. At its core, the 50-30-20 rule encourages individuals to divide their after-tax income into three distinct categories, needs, wants, and savings and debt repayment. To start, let's discuss the fundamental category of needs. These are the essential expenses that one cannot do without, housing, food, health care, and transportation. According to the 50-30-20 rule, it's recommended to allocate 50% of your after-tax income to cover these necessities. For instance, if your monthly after-tax income is $4,000, then $2,000 should be earmarked for these essential expenses. It's important to note that this category should strictly encompass genuine necessities, and luxuries or non-essentials should be excluded. Moving on, we have the wants category. This section comprises all the things you desire but could realistically live without. Leisure activities, dining out, vacations, and the like. The rule suggests allotting 30% of your income to fulfill these wants. Using our example, you would allocate $1,200 of your $4,000 income to satisfy these desires. This system is designed to strike a balance, ensuring that you can enjoy life's pleasures without overspending and jeopardizing your overall financial stability. Now, let's turn our attention to the final 20%, which is set aside for savings and debt repayment. This category is absolutely crucial for your long-term financial health. It includes building emergency savings, contributing to retirement funds, making investments, and paying off outstanding debts. In our example, this means setting aside $800 each month to lay the groundwork for a more secure financial future. The beauty of the 50-30-20 budgeting plan lies in its flexibility. While the exact percentages might not perfectly align with everyone's unique circumstances, the plan offers a solid framework that can be adjusted to fit your specific situation and financial aspirations. Numerous resources are available to help you implement the 50-30-20 plan effectively. Apps such as Mint, You Need a Budget, and Pocket Guard offer convenient ways to track and categorize your expenses, providing a visual representation of where your money goes each month. This transparency is crucial for making informed financial decisions and staying on the path toward financial independence. Now let's explore how to put the 50-30-20 budgeting plan into action. While it might seem intimidating initially, Rest assured that, like riding a bike, it becomes more manageable over time. Here are some actionable steps to guide you on this rewarding journey. Step 1. Determine your after-tax income. This is the income you take home after all deductions, federal and state taxes, Social Security, and health insurance. If you're employed, this is your take-home pay. If you're self-employed, subtract your tax and business expenses from your total income to get your after-tax income. Step 2. Categorize your expenses into needs, wants, and savings and debt repayment. This step requires honesty. Only genuine necessities should fall into the needs category. You can use budgeting apps like Mint or You Need a Budget to track your spending and categorize your expenses. These apps provide insights into your spending habits, helping you make informed adjustments. Step 3. Allocate your after-tax income according to the 50-30-20 plan. If your income is $4,000, then aim to spend $2,000 on needs, $1,200 on wants, and save or pay off debt with the remaining $800. Step 4. Adjust your spending habits. This is often the most challenging step. If you find that you're spending more on needs and less on savings, don't panic. Start by identifying areas where you can cut back. Perhaps you can switch to a cheaper cell phone plan or cook at home more often. Every little bit helps. Remember, the goal isn't to deprive yourself, but to find a balance that helps you live comfortably while also saving for the future. Step 5. Review and adjust your budget regularly. As you navigate through life, your financial situation will change. Raise in income. 
job loss, marriage, children, or retirement. Your budget should reflect these changes. Regularly reviewing and adjusting your budget ensures that it remains effective and relevant. When it comes to the savings and debt repayment category, prioritize building an emergency fund first. Aim for at least three to six months worth of living expenses. Once your emergency fund is in place, focus on paying off high interest debts. For retirement savings, consider utilizing employer-matched retirement plans like a 401k. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, as of 2020, 56% of all workers had access to such a plan. If you're self-employed, options like an IRA or a solo 401k are worth exploring. To deepen your understanding, resources like Your Money or Your Life by Vicki Robin or The Total Money Makeover by Dave Ramsey provide excellent insights into money management. Online platforms like Khan Academy also offer free courses on personal finance. It's crucial to remember that implementing the 50-30-20 budgeting plan is a process, not a one-time event. It's okay to make mistakes. What matters is learning from them and staying committed to your goal of financial independence. Now let's move on to some winning strategies to make this journey smoother. Sticking to a budget, much like adhering to a new diet or exercise regimen, can be challenging. However, with the right strategies, tools, and mindset, it can be a gratifying and enlightening journey. Here are some winning strategies that can aid you in achieving effective budgeting with the plan. 1. Leverage budgeting tools. Remember those apps we mentioned? Mint, you need a budget pocket guard? These aren't just for tracking your expenses. They also provide features to set budgets and send alerts when you're nearing your limits. They can serve as your digital financial advisors, helping you stay on track. 2. Plan your spending. It may sound simple, but a little planning can go a long way. For instance, making a shopping list before you head to the grocery store can help you avoid impulse purchases, keeping your needs category in check. If you plan to travel, plan ahead and take advantage of cheaper hotel and airline prices by booking months in advance. 3. Set financial goals. According to a study by psychologist Gail Matthews, people who wrote down their goals were 33% more successful in achieving them than those who merely formulated outcomes in their minds. Having clear financial goals gives you a sense of direction, and seeing your progress toward these goals can be incredibly motivating. 4. Automate your savings. Most banks and financial apps allow automatic transfers to savings or investment accounts. If 20% of your income automatically goes into savings every month, you're less likely to spend it. Remember, out of sight, out of mind can work in your favor. 5. Continue learning. The world of personal finance is dynamic and evolving. Staying informed about financial trends and strategies can help you make better decisions and adjust your budgeting plan as necessary. Websites like NerdWallet and Investopedia, along with podcasts like The Dave Ramsey Show or So Money with Farnooch Tarabi, provide valuable insights and advice. Remember, the 50-30-20 plan is a guide, not a strict rule. It's okay if your numbers don't match exactly. What matters is finding a balance that suits your lifestyle and financial goals. You might follow a 40-30-30 rule if you're focused on aggressive saving or debt repayment, or perhaps a 50-20-30 plan if you live in a high-cost area. Life will throw curveballs, unexpected expenses, changes in income, and your budget should be flexible enough to accommodate these changes. In a 2023 survey by the Federal Reserve, 37% of Americans would struggle to cover a sudden expense of $400. A flexible and adaptive budgeting plan can help you prepare for such uncertainties. And remember to celebrate your victories, no matter how small. Sticking to a budget, cutting back on unnecessary spending, saving your first $500. These are all wins worth celebrating. They bring you one step closer to financial independence. With these strategies in your arsenal, you're well-equipped to embark on your 50-30-20 budgeting journey. Now let's take a closer look at how this budgeting plan is not just about managing your money, but also about growing it. The 50-30-20 budgeting plan is not merely a budgeting tool. It's a pathway towards growing your wealth. Once you've successfully started saving 20% of your income, it's time to make that money work for you through investing. You might think investing is only for the wealthy, 
but that's far from the truth. Even with a small amount, you can start investing and reap the benefits of compound interest over time. According to a report by JP Morgan, a 25-year-old who saves $400 a month with an average annual return of 7% would have more than $1 million by the time they retire at 65. Now, that's the power of investing and compound interest. There are various investment options available. Stocks, bonds, mutual funds, real estate, ETS, to name a few. Each has its own risk and reward profile, so it's crucial to diversify your portfolio to spread the risk. For beginners, platforms like Betterment and Wealthfront provide robo-advisors that make investing easier. Books like The Little Book of Common Sense Investing by John C. Bogle and A Random Walk Down Wall Street by Burton Malkiel are excellent resources to start learning about investing. Remember, retirement planning is an essential part of wealth building. You want to ensure you have enough saved up to maintain your lifestyle even when you stop working. Taking advantage of tax-advantaged retirement accounts like a 401k or individual retirement accounts can be a smart move. Online retirement calculators, such as those provided by Vanguard or Fidelity, can help you estimate how much you need to save for retirement. The 50-30-20 plan is also effective in debt management. Allocating 20% of your income to savings also includes making extra payments towards your debts. Paying off high-interest debts like credit cards should be a priority. Imagine living a life free of the constant worry of debt payments. According to a 2023 survey by the National Foundation for Credit Counseling, 69% of respondents cited reducing debt as a top financial goal. Following the 50-30-20 budgeting plan can be your pathway towards that goal. At the end of the day, it's about financial freedom having the freedom to make life decisions without being overly stressed about the financial impact. It's about life on your terms. And with the 50-30-20 budgeting plan, this is not just a distant dream, but a reachable reality. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this.